Alakoza. He's a professor of international relations at Istanbul Shehir University. Thanks so much for coming in. First of all, the American F-16s arrive in Injerlik today. It's been called a, quote, game changer for the fight in the fight against ISIS. Do you agree? Is it that fundamental to how this war is fought? Yes, I totally agree that this is a game changer for fight against ISIS. Not only fight against ISIS, but, uh, you know, the new emerging uh, shape of the security uh, in the, especially in Syria and Iraq. So I think this will have a long effect uh, in the region. But will the use of this base by U.S. forces make Turkey even more vulnerable? to ISIS and other extremists in the region? Uh, well, it will be, uh, you know, making Turkey more vulnerable to uh, ISIS. Uh, it increases the uh, risks for Turkey. But if Turkey is not involved in this thing, uh, it also has uh, so many risks for Turkey. So this ISIS threat is spreading uh, in the last uh, couple of uh, months, mm -hmm. and we don't know uh, to what extent it will come uh, into Turkey and attract uh, militants. Mm. On the other hand, some other actors like PYD uh, and uh, other regional actors uh, use uh, ISIS uh, in order to spread their influence in the region by using uh, their fight against the ISIS. They try to legitimize their presence in the region. Mm. And Turkey is, and US is also uh, disturbed from these developments. So I think it's a strategic strategic change. Let me ask you, we in the international press in particular have been focusing mostly on the strategy of combating ISIS mm -hmm. and Turkey's war with the PKK. But as we've seen in Istanbul, mm -hmm. there's also a serious issue here with far left wing yeah. groups. Who are they and what do they want? Well, DHKPC, uh, uh, they are left wing uh, organization. Uh, we know that in the past they have strong affiliation with the Assad regime and Baathists, and they are supported by some uh, uh, international actors as well. So once Turkey and US involved in the region as an alliance against ISIS, uh, some of the actors are disturbed from this alliance. Mm -hmm. And I think they tried to support these organizations, uh, PKK, uh, DHKPC, and the Daesh uh, together and uh, they tried to, uh, you know, uh, increase uh, risks, uh, mm -hmm. security risk on uh, Turkey. Okay. So I think it's a very much coordinated, uh, you know, coordinated move. effort. Yeah. Okay, Talakoza, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you for joining mm -hmm. us. Now, the United Nations says the infant mortality rate in the Gaza Strip has risen to its highest level in more than 50 years. The newly released results of a 2013 survey found a sharp rise in the number of babies dying before the age of one. The UN suggests Israel's blockade of the Gaza Strip is a contributing factor.